It's your Tuesday edition of your Global Business Report. Welcome back to the show. According to a top official, Nigeria intends to implement new foreign exchange regulations, including a crackdown on illicit currency transactions, in the hope that the Naira will close the, that more than 45% difference with the unofficial rate and reach a fair price by the end of the year. Tawo Yudili, the chairman of the Presidential Committee on Fiscal Policy and Tax Reform, stated in an interview that the government intends to strengthen the Naira forward market, clear a backlog of dollar demand estimated at roughly $6.7 billion, and establish clear guidelines for the official market's activities. Meanwhile, Nigeria is about to get a boost in foreign direct investment. The vice president of Nigeria, Kashim Shetima, says an American company, John Deere, is set to establish a tractor assembly plant in the country. Details of the company's interest to invest in Nigeria's agriculture sector were made known during a meeting between Shetima and top officials of John Deere. Speaking during the interaction with investors, Shetima said Nigeria is committed to transforming agriculture as a pathway to tackling insecurity and improving the livelihoods of smallholder farmers. Okay, joining me now to discuss these uh, top stories, our right, business analyst Chika Mon is live here in our Lego studios. Good morning. Good morning, boss. Thank you so much. Then let's start with the uh, the story around expression of interest by John Deere, which is, uh, of course, this American big company when it comes to uh, uh, agricultural equipment in terms of a tractor assembly plant. So what do you make of that? Give me your first word. Um, first of all, I mean, don't take it just a, a, a lie joke that our vice president of Nigeria, uh, the person he met in John Deere actually happens to be the vice president of production, but it's okay. Um, not, you know, not the vice president of the company? The vice president of the production. Of the production. But it's okay, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. let's not push that narrative too much. Um, John Deere, um, 84 on the uh, uh, Forbes 500, uh, top 500 companies list in US, 2022. Um, um, total sales in 2022 was about $53 billion. Um, it total equity is about $20 billion. Um, staff strength, more than 83,000 staff in 2022. And um, produces almost all the lines of um, agri, agri, agri equipment, tractors, um, sprayers, mm. uh, uh, combined uh, harvesters, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, indeed, w w in the past, we have seen some of their products in Nigeria because when the John Deere um, tractor is not alien to our country. Uh, so, uh, to all intent and purposes, um, is a solid company, a solid company. And then the other interesting thing um, is, I would have said is that um, his Nigeria fertile grant to you know um, come and invest now through a plant, and um, despite all the challenges we've had, but the introduction, of course, was made by you know who, Mr. Um, John um, Comantros um, of, of, of Flower Mills, of Flower Mills, Nigeria, Nigeria, 1960, mm. since 1960, a private company, 1978, it was listed mm. in the Nigerian Stock Exchange, and so. The history of Nigeria is, um, you know, is tied with that. Tied with flour 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 They've gone through the several cycles. So, so flour so, knows the business of business agriculture. agriculture. Yeah, and you know that that's that the value chain. Hmm. But apart from that, you know, uh, if John Deere is having any doubts about problems of Nigeria, you know, flour will tell them, come, come, guys. Hmm. We know this country very well. As, yes, a, as a midwife. We, yeah, we know. We've gone through so many cycles. Yeah, we'll teach you how to come into our country. But it's a good a good one, We're looking for investments to come to the country. Most important in this one is agriculture. Um, remember that um, the problems of agriculture in Nigeria include the, you know, quality seedlings, the mechanization is challenges we have, of course, fertilizer, and of course, essential services. So this will address the, the mechanization issue. Because the major problem in farming in Nigeria is the, the smallholder farmers. Uh, farmers, and the fact that a lot of the farming is done through um, uh, you know, manual labor, and, and so, they, they, they can't till, till much. So this, this happening in Nigeria will assist, you know, in farming, agriculture growing in our country. So, so, so do, you, do you think we can do more in agriculture beyond mechanization? Quickly, what of, does of course, thought about, do you think we can do? I thought about seedlings already, the, the, you know, a more profitable seedlings. Mm. You find, they tell you, Nigeria, that the per hectare or per acreage harvest of the kind of seedlings we use in Nigeria is very low compared to what happens in the world. And also the pesticides and chemicals and fertilizers, a lot of times, um, you know, they come off season and when people, the farmers don't need it again. And so all those availability of all those also help 
in, in agriculture in Nigeria. What about availability of dollars, US dollars? <laughs> so now this is a talk you about know, uh, you know, new measures. You know, about new dollars, we've been talking talk about new measures. Yes. The Minister for Finance will speak, CBN governor will speak. Now he's a tax guy that spoke about dollars. Yes. You know, it just reminds me of going somewhere I went one time to go and it was very packed, very hungry, the, the home. And they came and set the tables. The food didn't come. Set the forks and knives. We didn't, didn't see food. The bowls for sharing the food, the food didn't come. I mean, the stories were so many. And we're saying we're hungry, we're hungry. So, but, but there are a few specifics about whether there are plans when, to, to introduce dollar backed yeah. uh, bonds for diaspora Nigerians. Plans and, plans, and, plans, and bonds for Nigerians who are millionaires in dollars mm, to get plans, that out of their dumb account. Plans, plans. But you see, the issue is that trust and that's uncertainty. That certainty. Now, people have hidden their dollars under their, under their bed, dog holes, inside drums or whatever. And you want them to bring it out and put in so bonds and yes. some other, other allied instruments. Said, yes. So, you know, why did they, why have they done this? The fear has been that, oh, if you put that money in a dumb account, a miscellaneous account, this, the government may one day, out of desperation, just convert all into the local currency. Mm. So that's still that fear. So it's a trust Deficit. level deficit that's going to cause problem with those assets. Otherwise, the other things being equal, those as assets are good assets. To buy do dollar bonds in Nigeria, if instead of putting your cash, hiding the cash, million dollars under the bed, I mean, you know the kind of things that have happened in Nigeria. Those have, they have been cut out sometimes. We found millions or hundreds of millions of dollars there in, the, in people's houses. So put, put them out and put them into the banking system. When they're in people's houses under the bed and the holes and stuff like that, they don't help the liquidity of the market. But when they come out and enter the banking system to help, that's actually the, the theory, the theory the, why those initiatives are very important. Yes. Mm -hmm. but, but do you think it, it, it could help? Do you think that that trust would have to come? Yeah, it has to. It has to come and then build it up. And, you know, in very certain, clear um, you know, terms. In terms, you know, people must be given the assurance that nothing that... Yeah, because you know, if I'm buying dollar-denominated mm -hmm. bonds, you have mm -hmm. to give me an mm -hmm. interest on it that... I'm sure that you, 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 you pay. You pay. You said compensate for the risk. And yes. It must be, the bonds must also be able for you to be able to discount them. Yes. At, at, yes, even at, 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 at a window. At a window, yes. and, and And then you, you look at inflation as well, exactly. on one hand, and exchange rates exactly. to, be, to be sure whether it's really worth mm. my time exactly. and my money to actually bring it out from my dorm account or from whatever. Well, was not the, the under your bed. Under the, oh, yes. The, uh, and, 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 then, and then give it to the government. The government yeah. So this is in the manner of the way government saying, uh, can we have your money, please? Uh, we're not necessarily, but we want to liquefy the market. Remember I said, yes. there's no liquidity in the market. And as I said, all the money hidden out of the banking system don't help the liquidity belong of the market. Belong to individuals. Yeah, but they belong to so individuals. So it's giving so your money. Bring it in the banking system yes. so it helps to you know, enlarge the market. Well, when, when the details come out, will you be back here? Exactly. Uh, to give exactly. us more Again, details. Again, as I said, these are early days. That. When the details come out, we'll be able to talk about them. Talk, talk, talk the devil is always in the details. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, boss. And that's a uh, wrap for the month of October. I'll we'll see you again tomorrow. Yes, it's, it's true. It's November 1st tomorrow. True. You don't go anywhere. It's true. Tomorrow is for tomorrow, yeah. Thank you. <laughs>